God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, your spirit. spirit. We continue to offer our Mass for our parish intentions and the intentions of our families. Because of some new promises of our parish. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us go to mind of our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing is firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as a ruler and guide, when we use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the fields, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Among the nations, idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For your glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior. Because of the glory of your name, deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoner's sigh come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. 
Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you in heaven. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows to them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evil doers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where they will be wailing and grinding and peeling. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. We have a beautiful day today. Uh, we still, uh, we still have a very warm day. day. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's enjoying. <laughs> Save sun, sun for winter. <laughs> Enjoying the heat, the warm. In our reflection for today, the gospel, our gospel today is the continuation of the parable of the weeds and the wheat. So the past, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure anymore, two Sundays ago or three Sundays ago, the parable of the weeds and the wheat, the long form of the gospel in, in, includes this one, the explanation, but there's a choice. No? We may not read the long form, the short form, and I read the short form, I read the short form during Sunday. So this is the, the continuation of the, of the longer form, the disciples, the disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable and the weeds in the field. We reflect on the disciples ask the Lord that, that action, that situation, that specific situation. Why they were able to ask the Lord, to ask for explanation? Because they were with Him always. They had the they have this uh, opportunity to be to be enlightened. <coughs> and so this this I reflect on this and reflect on this situation. If we are always also with the Lord's presence, then we will have all the opportunity to be enlightened of all the confusions that we have in our lives. Amen. Amen. And we have that. And so this is our challenge no? to be always near with the Lord. No? To be always near Him. So that we have that opportunity 
to us to be enlightened to find answers those who go far those who don't even pray they find their lives confu confused empty dry because through joy the gospel of last Sunday through joy, the search for true joy, true happiness is with the Lord only. All worldly happiness will end up being empty, the feeling of emptiness. And with the Lord, there is fullness. And so this is our challenge in our daily lives, to be always in Him, so we can have that opportunity to be enlightened. Blessed be the Lord God of all prayers and for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you to the of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours to be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we are playing. Holy, 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 holy Lord, our God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May you call it therefore these gifts to pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat them, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chance, and once more gave him thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Thank this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we, when we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, pioneer our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior is the man formed by the divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not to our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, your spirit. Lamb of God, if you, you take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray the act of spiritual communion for those who are with us online in their homes. Please pray with me. My Jesus, my Jesus, Jesus I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. I unite, I unite myself, myself wholly to you. Never permit me. Never, never permit, permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. We have consumed to the Lord this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the, of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered to us, go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. God willing. God willing. Okay. The creeks don't rise. This no, we don't think they rise, do we? <laughs> we want them to rise a wee bit. <laughs> I wish they would. I know. Have Bye a good day, Father. Bye. Oh, I saw your um, Papua New Guinea thing. Gosh, Father, you were just a baby when they sent you there. <laughs> See you now. Okay, bye, guys. I don't know. I don't know. 14, 15? <laughs> I think 32, 33. 33. Oh. 33. You looked real young. That's because he's so handsome. Just ask I, him. I guess. <laughs> He'll tell you. He's so handsome. <laughs> Were you ever scared? Just of the alligators or crocodiles?